right, so again, once we've warmed up our body and we're prepared for movement, we want to next prepare and get used to moving the basketball or manipulating the basketball around us. In previous videos, we've worked on some taps, we've worked on circle moves, we've worked on catches, and a couple other items. Today, and in the next one, we're actually gonna be doing some dribbling as we're manipulating it. So the basketball is still gonna be moving around us or over obstacles, but we're gonna be manipulating it purposefully. Again, I invite you to look at the ball and where you're doing it, and eventually we can get your eyes up. It's much easier that way. I also encourage you to get two, uh, or a pair of sneakers, a pair of slides, flops, whatever, and you're gonna need those. And again, if you have a straight line or a piece of chalk or spray paint, I didn't say that, duct tape, you can put that down on the street uh, or wherever you're working and that's gonna help you. So using these visual landmarks, it's gonna help you to learn how it feels to do that move. And then the next way you'll get better at that skill is you'll be able to actually lift your eyes and the body will know exactly what to do. So we're gonna be building you up with a series of uh, drills. They'll start easy and they'll slowly get harder. A couple keys to make this easier is pound the ball. So you're gonna be using quite a bit of shoulder and a lot of wrist here, all right? The harder you dribble the ball, the easier this will become. And the more you focus on the rhythm of it, the easier this will become. And I'll give some examples as I go through the drills. First one we're gonna do is we're gonna have our, our slides or our flops. If you have a cone or two cones, awesome. Rocks, whatever you want. You can't, you can't do, it, do it wrong here. But we're just gonna do two things. We're gonna put them in front of us, okay? And uh, I'm about arm's length away right now, okay? My hand's floating over the sneakers now. I'm gonna get very wide, so my feet are outside. I'm gonna drop my hips, my chin is up, my core is engaged, and I'm, I'm fairly comfortable, all right? The basketball, I'm gonna do pound dribbles, and we want it landing right around that baby toe. So as I'm pounding that ball down, my off hand is the shadow hand. I'm tucking my elbow in a little bit. It's not rigid, it's free to move around. It's very fluid like water. Thumb is up to the sky, palm is open, and I'm ready to pop that ball at any time, all right? So we're gonna do 20 to 40 right hand pound dribbles. You're then gonna exchange and do 20 to 40 left hand pound dribbles. All right, so here's what it will look on each side. starting to move side to side, all right? So I'm gonna step a little bit closer to the cones now. I'm about uh, half of an arm's length away. I'm, stay, I'm gonna stay wide and my hips and my knees are gonna stay low for a bend. What I'm doing now is the basketball, I'm gonna go pound, I'm gonna let it come up to around my knee to hip height. From there, I'm going to push it down. And as I push, Look at what I did with my shoulder. I dropped it or I closed it and I pushed the ball to that foot. I'm then gonna square up as I pound and then I'm gonna go push. And again, my shoulder's twisting. So feet aren't moving, they're just kind of twisting. So check it out. Pound, push, pound, push, pound, push. the third one, we're going to be doing, again, that same kind of crossover motion, but uh, we're going to actually keep the ball in one hand. So we're going to push the ball over the shoes or the cone, but then instead of my opposite hand receiving it, I'm going to pull it back and pound it down. All right, so check this one out. Pound, push. So some tricks in that is again, hard dribbles. We push it down with our shoulders. It's gonna pop back up, it's gonna stick to my hand. And then I'm gonna twist and I push it down. 
From there, I need to have my hand and wrist over the ball so that I cup it. As I'm cupping it, I'm slamming it back down and there's a rhythm. All right? So it's not an easy drill at first until you can get that rhythm. Also, tucking that elbow in as you're pulling it over helps get that ball back down. Left hand is the same. In the next evolution, we're now going to take the two uh, sandals or rocks or sneakers or cones, whatever you're using, and we're going to put them kind of where your normal shoulder width uh, stance would be. Again, we play basketball in a much wider stance, so we're going to get wider, we're going to stay low. I now have my shoes on the red line. Okay, I probably should have mentioned that in the last one. I want to keep my basketball on this is my red line, there's might be a chalk line or a crack in the cement, but I want my ball to stay totally right on that line. All right, And I'm gonna use these landmarks to help me and it's okay to look at first. So we're gonna get low and we're gonna do a little bit of a rhythm dribble here. So uh, I'm gonna go one, two, three with one hand. As soon as I finish that last dribble outside my body, I need to <coughs> exchange hands as quickly as I can. So it's very quick exchanges, and I'm gonna use some rhythm and some numbers to help me. So one, two, three, 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 one. All right? So the three and the one need to be very rapid dribbles. All right? So very quick on the outside, okay, where we're exchanging our hands. All right, and on the next evolution, we're gonna go through and back with the same hand, all right? So we've already done something similar, but now we've got two obstacles, and we're really getting the ball outside of our frame and then back to the other side. So I'm gonna keep it in this hand. So it's one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's the rhythm, back. All right, left hand. Tighter that area, the more you're going to be challenged. 